This question here it says, if the areas of two similar triangles are equal, I have two triangles here ABC and DEF. It says ABC is similar to DEF and area of ABC is also equal to area of DEF. What we have to prove is ABC is congruent to DEF. Means both the triangles are same. To do that, let's draw a perpendicular from A to BC and D to this is AP, this is DQ. What we have here is triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF and area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DEF. Okay. And I have taken AP perpendicular to BC and DQ perpendicular to EF. This is by construction. And this is already given here. Okay. Area of triangle ABC is equal to area of triangle DEF. Area of triangle ABC would be half into BC into AP. Area of triangle DEF will be half into EF into DQ, half of cancelled. So I can write this as AP over DQ is equal to EF over BC. AP over DQ is equal to EF over BC. Number one. Let's take triangle ABP and triangle DEQ. In these two triangles, this angle is equal to this angle. Angle ABP is equal to angle DEQ since triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Angle APB is equal to angle DQE, both are 90 degrees. Angle ABP equals to angle DEQ, angle ABP equals to angle DQE. So as per angle-angle similarity, since two angles are equal, then third angle will also be equal. So I can use angle-angle similarity. So as per angle-angle similarity, Triangle ABP is similar to triangle DEQ. In that case, AB over DE can be equal to AP over DQ. Now, when AB over D is equal to AP over DQ, in that case, BC over EF will also be equal to AP over DQ. Alright. In that case, BC over EF will also be equal to AP over DQ. Since ABC is similar to DE, F, AB over DE is equal to AC over DF equals to BC over EF. When AB over DE is equal to AP over DQ, in that case BC over EF will also be equal to AP over DQ. Now, this is number 2. Now look at here, AP over DQ, AP over DQ is equal to EF over BC, EF over BC, EF over BC. And AP over DQ again, same as here, equals to BC over EF. BC over EF. Here EF over BC, here BC over EF. So I'll write from 1 and 2, BC over EF 
is equal to EF over BC. In that case, BC square will be equal to EF square. BC into BC, BC square, EF into EF, EF square. Let's take root both the sides. So root BC square is equal to root EF square. It means BC is equal to EF. BC is equal to EF. Now in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, angle B is equal to angle E, corresponding angles. Since ABC is similar to the EF, angle C is equal to angle F, and BC is equal to EF, we have just proved. So, as per angle angle side theorem of congruency, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So as per angle angle side theorem where if two of the corresponding angles are equal then any of the corresponding sides if they are equal triangles would be congruent this equals to this corresponding C equals to F corresponding BC equals to EF corresponding so uh, ABC and DEF would be congruent alright.